everyone and welcome to another video today today i'm teaching something interesting i'm teaching you about the knot tie dress and um it's the method i'm teaching you to make this dress today it's, it's the easy way um another way to do it will be to make a pattern you draft a pattern and then you make the dress but it's like the easy way out and then what we are doing today is that we are going to be draping so that's why you have this mannequin here we're going to be draping on the mannequin today and then um, what is the knot tie dress some of us are familiar with the knot tie wrapper it was in, it was trending a couple of um, a couple of months ago um, but now the knot tie dress has taken over and uh, everybody's crazy about the knot tie dress and many people wonder how is this dress made how is how is it done they just can't seem to figure it out how do you tie it i mean there's no joy in this many people are confused about it so today i intend to unravel the mystery <laughs> behind the knot tie dress so one of the things you need to make this yeah number one you need your fabric you need something, you know, one of, you need a fabric to do it. Now, what kind of fabric can you use for a knot tie dress? Or what kind of fabric um, can you use to drape for the method we are doing, you know? I usually advise, you can use other fabrics, yeah? But I usually advise you use a fabric of fluid. That's something that's soft, you know? It can be silk, it can be chiffon, it can be, um, it can be something satin. It can be just some, something with fluid, something, it can be lycra, it can be jersey, it can be whatever. Just something with some amount of fluid. It makes it makes your work easy and then it usually comes out nicer than the other one. So um, I've got some fabrics here, but if you look at this, um, and it's, you can touch it, but if you, I'm the only person that can touch it, but if you look at it, you see that it has some fluid. You can see, you can see the way it is, it's soft. So um, we're using this fabric uh, because I think it's going to do justice to what we want to make. It's going to do justice to it. Yeah, so you need your fabric. Apart from your fabric, you need paint and then you need scissors. So those are the major things. Those are the so I'm going to start dressing from here. And I'm going to use using my paint. Now this um, dress form, this mannequin I'm using, is the sort of mannequin every tailor show up in their workshop. because. You can pin on it. See, it's just easy. The pin is going easily, and then it keeps your, it keeps your, um, whatever you're dripping, it keeps it in place. So it, it's really good. If you're in Nigeria and you don't know how to get the mannequin, you can contact me. I can, I can tell you how you can get it. So yeah. So um, you fold it. We're folding it, and then I'm dressing on. I'm, I'm gonna be pinning. I'm gonna be pinning together. That's the joining, that's where the joining of the form meets with the joining of the back. That's the very first thing I've done. Yeah, so I've got that in place securely. Now let's go to the front, the middle of the front. I'm going to be pinning this just the way I want it to appear on the final dress I'm going to work on. So I'm going to pin this from here and then it's going to come all the way to the center here. It's going to come back to us. Just the way you want it to appear. So I'm pinning it all the way, just, just before the waist. I'm just stopping just because the waist is around here. I'm stopping just before the waist. Now we've done the um, shoulder joining, we've done the mid part, it's in place already. Now we need to do the side. Now I'm taking this, and then you can see there's a joining on the side. I'm going to pin it to the joining on the side. I'm sure you can see that um, as I'm pinning it, I'm giving some allowance. So from the extra allowance I've left on the side, I'm going to be able to. Um, have allow us to join it because of the adjust it's, um, it's tighter or it's smaller you know whatever so we have done the size we've done the middle and we have done we have done um, we have done the shoulder joining so they're gonna be wrapping up like this but before we get there let's do the other side Now for the other side, we're just 
pretty much going to do the same thing. We'll fold. After folding, we'll pin. Pin here. Pin here. Pin here. Then, bring it to the middle. Make it as low as you want it to be or as high as you want it to be. Just, just the way you want it to be. And then now let's go to the sides. We're going to pull the sides as well. Pin the sides, we pin the middle, all the way up to um, just before the waist. Excuse me, I'm going to try to uh, review this because it seems like I have too much around and then I'll to the side. Okay, so you can see the sides of this. We pin it here, we pin the shoulder, we pin the middle. So we can have this here, have this here, but then we need to make a knot because they need to cross each other and then go over each other here. Now how do we do this? How do we make a knot? Basically the secret is we're going to cut it so we're able to wrap it around each other and then we we'll join it back. Now this is how we work. You need to be sure that um, wherever you are joining is the same on both sides. So um. The length to waist here is about um, the length to waist here is about um, 12 inches. So I'm going to cut it at the 10 inch mark, which is here. I'm going to cut it at the 10 inch mark, which is here. But you know, you should know that when you are cutting it, you don't cut it entirely. You just cut it you know, a bit. And then after cutting it, I can twist this and return this. You can see it's beginning to look like a twist dress already. So now that we have our upper part nicely dressed, we're going to move over to the lower part. So um, I'm in the middle of twisting already. So you twist it as many times as you want to twist there. I just want to twist that one, so I've only done it once. So you take um, the one coming from this side is now going to be on this side. It will be no more on the left, it's going to be on the right now. So I'm going to pin it to the right. That way you get um, you get a firm knot. If you need it on the same side, your knot is going to be wobbly and then you may, you may not really like it. So um, you are going to make your knots on the opposite side. That's what will give you um, a nice effect. Now this part that I have cut, you are going to finish it up by joining it together. You make a seam with your sewing machine, so um, you'll be sewing both of them together, like this part and this part. We are pinning them together now because we are draping them. That's what we can do. We cannot sew onto the mannequin now. So for the sake of this video, we just uh, we are pinning them together so you can have an idea of the look and um, you can know what we're working on. So yeah, we are, um... okay. So you can see that we're getting there already. If you look at the middle part, it looks draped. It looks um, it looks like a knot tie. So um, now we're just gonna finish the lower part. Uh, whichever way we would like to finish it, we are going to finish the lower part. So I'm just going to pin the side, just the way, just the same way we did for the other side. I'm going to pin the side here. Yeah.
I'm going to pin this other side too. It's usually it's usually advisable for you to do the sides before you do the center or you do the middle part. You need to you need to pin the sides for you do the other places. So I'm doing that. And then I've done my middle. Because we just used you can see the fabric is overlapping, we need to cut the fabric at some point because uh, it's overlapping. Now that we have built the sides here and we have pinned this, we can um, cut off the side so this um, pull can, can be relaxed. So I'm going to pin here and I can cut here. So I'm going to be cutting it all the way down. Enjoy your day.